Allison Croft, first we're keeping an eye on our biggest money maker here, our beaches. High levels of red tide are creeping up the Gulf Coast and now we're feeling this in Sarasota. People have reported breathing issues and say that they have seen dead fish just like this. So now county leaders are trying to get ahead of this. They don't want a repeat of what happened last year. 10 News reporter Phil Buck is live right now on Venice Beach. Phil, what are you seeing out there tonight? Well, I mean, the yellow flags were out here earlier today and they do have signs like this warning people that red tide is out here as well. I really haven't noticed any respiratory issues at all today. Uh, some of the other people I've talked to out here today, they say they haven't really either. Uh, but we are hearing it's bad in areas south of here. We have also known, you know, that test results from the state have shown high levels in this area, uh, Venice Beach area most recently and the most recent, uh, you know, maps that have come out. But honestly, you know, I think most of the people I talked to today were more worried about me being out here than the red tide. We were at Venice Beach this morning at nine o'clock doing yoga and I saw some news people over there by the water and I thought, I don't want them saying there's tons of red tide because there isn't. And it was pleasant and it was wonderful. Christy West has lived in Venice Beach for 11 years. She loves it here and doesn't want news coverage of red tide hurting her community. The thing I'm concerned about is I really like to support our local businesses downtown. And I don't want them losing business because of news sensationalism that, oh my God, it's so bad. Admittedly, on Thursday, conditions on the beach were lovely, despite recent tests by the state that showed high levels of red tide in this area and some reports of fish kills and respiratory irritation. Uh, of course, it makes us a little nervous and I mean, it makes everybody a little bit nervous. Rick Chatower is dock master at the Crow's Nest, a local restaurant and gas dock in Venice. After last year's red tide bloom significantly hurt business here, just me showing up with my camera was cause for concern. The media, the media, I mean, once the news gets out in the media and everything, I guess that's the biggest scare about the red tide and everything. I said, but as you can smell and see the activity in the water and everything, that uh, uh, we really haven't had any sign or anything of uh, red tide this year yet, but we, do, we have heard that it's, you know, coming north. Now, like we said, I mean, it's pretty nice out. I want to show you, I mean, there's a group of people. It looks like they're getting ready for a yoga class out on the beach. Certainly uh, nothing is deterring them from coming out here today. In terms of what's being done preemptively to try to mitigate any effects of red tide out here, both Sarasota counties and Pinellas counties tell us all they're doing at this point is monitoring the levels. Meanwhile, you know, Moat Marine, they say they still haven't gotten their cut of the three million dollars that the state set aside for mitigating some of this or at least putting research into those solutions. They may not see some of that money until February, but they do tell us that they continue to do some of their own internal mitigation research. Still haven't come up with a solution, though.